close your eyes, watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. And then with the next one, and then the next one. The results of the meditation show themselves over time. Staying with one breath or two breaths doesn't make much of a difference, but if you stay with the breath continuously, it gives the mind a place where it can really settle in. At first the mind is going to be tensed up, even when it's with the breath, because it's used to getting ready to jump. But if you stay here long enough, it can begin to relax into the breath. That's when it gets a good solid foundation. A foundation is based not on tension, but on, on actually a sense of ease, of really belonging here, that this is your home. Because otherwise we try to take up our home in sight, sound, smells, taste, tactile sensations, and they keep pushing us out. They don't, last, <clears throat> they don't last very long. Then we've got to go running around finding some more places. But when you're with the breath, you know, as long as you're alive, you've got a home right here. And it's right next to your awareness, so it's a very convenient home. All it requires is some mindfulness and alertness. These are the strengths of mind you need in order to stay here, plus the quality of ardency, where you really try to do it well. Then when the mind has a home, okay, then you can decide when you need to go out and forage around outside. Okay, You know you've got a place to forage, but you've also got a place to come back to. When you come back, you don't have to pull yourself back. All you have to do is just drop whatever other thoughts pulled you away, and you're right back here at the breath. So as the Buddha said, when you become skilled at this, then if you need to think, you can think whatever thoughts you need to think, and if you don't want to think them, you can drop them. This is how you protect yourself. This is why it's so important to have this kind of home here. This becomes your place of balance. This becomes your place of security. So you know, no, no matter how bad things get outside, you've always got a safe place to go. Because the dangers outside are nothing compared to the dangers of an untrained mind. But when the mind is trained, okay, then you've got a real sense of security right here, a real sense of safety. This is where the Buddha said, this is where you find your refuge, when the mind is trained. 